Fellas, there's a ton of different golden ticket players that have been confirmed over on Twitter or on YouTube, but in today's video, what I'm going to do is go through and showcase all 15 golden tickets which have been confirmed so far. And the reason why I want to make this video is because a lot of these golden tickets have been confirmed by different YouTubers or different people on Twitter, so I wanted to go through and have one video that showcases all them, and without further ado, let's get started. Now, so so family, and welcome back to another Madden 23 video, and let's get started. I'm not going to do too, too much analysis on each of these players. I'll show you who the card is, give my opinion as to whether I think that are a good pick or not and let's get started now player number one is going to be cornerback Isaiah Simmons there's actually a lot of corners that are being made in this promo overall I think this will be a pretty solid option though he's got really good height which is important the speed in the excel should be really nice as well and then of course Isaiah Simmons also has a really good hit power and stuff like that so I think this actually will be a W pick because he's like a safety who's at corner but yet still has the coverage stats of a corner he could be really good number two we got Odell Beckham Jr and if I'm being fully honest I have yet to use this 90 overall card in game this card is probably going to be similar to the golden ticket he's just getting a plus one boost but obj is one of my favorite players in the nfl so i gotta give this one a w let me know in the comments if you use this card but overall he's got great stats across the board of course odell is really good with the ball in his hands as well so this should be a good card uh, to get the ball to with high juke move high ball carry vision all that good stuff golden ticket number three we got thaddeus moss as you guys can see thaddeus moss did get an upgrade and he's actually a player that's not in the nfl quite yet so i'm not 100 percent sure if EA Sports will accept this golden ticket, I believe they probably will though. But looking at the stats on this card, he's a 94 overall with 96 speed. So you gotta think that's gonna go up to a 99. The height is six foot two for some reason off the top of my head. I thought this guy was a little bit taller, only six foot two though, so not crazy right there. Uh, but overall, he's gonna be a really, really fast tight end with really good route running. And the run walking is only a 78, but that could get boosted as well. Uh, this could be a pretty god tier tight end. If he's really good at getting in and out of breaks, he could probably be the best tight end in this game. Number four, and kind of unfortunate is Patrick Peterson. Patrick Peterson got a 98 overall card literally yesterday, and I believe he's getting a golden ticket as well. But this 98 overall card got one step ahead for one AP. If we can get that for one AP on a golden ticket, that'd be pretty fire. Assuming the speed gets boosted to a 99, this card could be really good. I feel like Pat Pete corners play really well as well, so I'll give this card a W. Now next up, and this is one you've probably seen before, but J. Ron Curse is going to be getting a GT in this game. He's got a 96 overall, getting boosted to a 99. I would say this card is probably going to be pretty mid. We don't need to spend too much time on him because I've talked about him before. Now, next up, there was also a Lamar Jackson card in this game. This actually could be the best golden ticket, to be fully honest with you, because you can change the release on a quarterback. So Lamar Jackson will get the best release in this game. He's going to be super fast. As long as he gets good abilities, I think I actually probably will be using Lamar Jackson as my quarterback for the future. So LJ, very excited about him. I'm going to give him a W. Really like him in real life. So I would love to see that this card is the best quarterback in Madden. And I think there's a high chance that could be the case. Want to open up packs with better odds? than EA Sports gives you? Well, check out mudpacks.com to open up packs, win coins, and withdraw them directly to your account. And of course, use code SWIFT as you're checking out the site for 15% off. Now, sticking on the topic of quarterbacks, William Perry is also getting a quarterback card in this game. We've talked about this before, but yes, William Perry, the defensive tackle, is getting a quarterback. He's six foot two, 355. Could be a fun card. We'll see though. Now, next up, and one of my personal favorites, there's probably a couple other cards I really like on this list, but this card, this Julius Peppers free free safety is going to be one of my favorites. I'm telling you this 95 played so freaking good. I'm assuming the golden ticket is going to play awesome as well. Uh, just across the board, the stats don't really wow you, but for some reason he just played amazing. Six foot seven as a free safety is huge, man. Six foot seven is massive. We love to see that pun intended. Honestly, he's massive and it's massive to have a good free safety and a big free safety back there. So Julius Peppers, I'm excited about probably one of my favorite picks so far. Now, another one of my favorites for sure is Harold Carmichael. Michael fellas, six foot eight cornerback Harold Carmichael. This card played good for me as well. So I'm really happy to see that these cards that played really well for me earlier in the year are getting golden tickets. Like selfishly, I'm very happy about that. Julius Peppers played great. Harold Carmichael played great. And Harold Carmichael at corner will be getting a GT. This card I'm very, very excited for. I think he's going to play like one of the best corners in this game. This 95 was sick. I'm expecting the 99 to be even better. And he's six foot eight too, which again is massive, pun intended. <laughs> Moving on, this Hassan Haskell card is also getting a golden ticket in game. We don't really know how this card is going to look, but if I'm being fully honest, I don't think any of the golden ticket running backs are really going to wow you because they don't get any of those AKA X factors, which are just so important on running backs and pass rushers. So the golden tickets that are running backs and pass rushers kind of just instantly lose some value because they don't have those equipable X factors. Hassan Haskins, I mean, he could be a good card. I probably won't know. I don't know that I'll be using this, but this is actually the only running back or sorry. No, there's one more running back on this list. My apologies. And that other running back is going to be 96 
against Isaiah Pacheco. Now, I won't lie to you. I believe this 96 overall card played pretty good. From what I've heard, this was actually one of the better running backs in the game when he was released. Not the best, but one of the better ones. So I'm excited to see how the golden ticket looks. I think I'm more excited for Pacheco than I saw in Haskins. This card did break a lot of tackles. He could be a pretty cool player to use. We'll see. Uh, five foot ten, so he's shorter than me, man. I really could have made it to the NFL with my height, to say the least. But 95 feet, 97 XL. Uh, could be a decent card. I would say that his golden ticket is probably a little mid, though. Now, moving back on over to the quarterbacks, Jordan Love is also getting a GT. Jordan Love with 87 speed, 91 throw power on this 90 overall player. And honestly, fellas, if I'm being completely honest with a lot of these golden tickets, I think they all could play very, very similar, especially the quarterbacks, because you can change the release of the quarterback. You can choose like what abilities you want on the card. So if people make these cards correctly, I believe there will be a lot of parity in the quarterbacks. I will say I'm more excited to use Lamar Jackson than Jordan Love and more excited to use Lamar Jackson over the other quarterback we've got on this list. But yeah, Jordan Love will be getting a GT. So Packers fans out there, hey, congratulations. But for me personally, I still think Lamar is a little bit better. I don't hate on the pick though. I mean, you know what? If you pull the golden ticket, make who you want. Like you shouldn't really be making your golden ticket selection to like please other people in the community. So hey, this guy was probably a Packers fan, wanted Jordan Love and I don't hate on him for it. Okay, now two more cards remaining. And for some reason, there is no Dak Prescott up on the auction block for me to show you guys. So we're on mutt.gg rights here. But again, a similar spiel as to what I just said about Jordan Love as to what I just said about Lamar Jackson. These cards can really be made in any way possible. Like the release that they have right now doesn't really matter. You can change that on the golden ticket. Really, the only thing that's going to matter is, I guess, like speed and acceleration. That's not super high on Dak Prescott. You can't boost that up on your GT. And really, from what I've seen so far, I think Lamar Jackson probably is going to be the best quarterback, even though these cards could play similar. They could have very similar abilities. I do believe Lamar actually will be better than these other quarterbacks that are coming out. So Dak Prescott, Jordan Love. Again, Dak Prescott, not a bad pick. If you're a Cowboys fan, you're probably happy. Uh, but yeah, I would say the card is probably just going to be decent. Now, saving actually a pretty fun card for last right here. There is a Randy Moss cornerback card coming out in this game. Now, Randy Moss got this BND cornerback card way earlier in the year. I believe this was for doing like all Madden release number one solo challenges. So Randy Moss right here, of course, is six foot four. 210. Randy Moss is getting a corner. Harold Carmichael is getting a corner. Julius Peppers is getting a free safety. That secondary is going to be ridiculous. 85 speed, 86 excel. Honestly, these stats don't really matter a ton. I do like to see that his man coverage, his zone coverage, his press, all that stuff isn't terrible for an 86 overall player. It's similar to the overall, which is important because again, if he's got 85 overall stats on an 86, you would expect that he would have 98 overall stats on a 99. Uh, so yeah, the stats look solid on this player. And yeah, those are 15 golden tickets coming soon to Madden 23. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to scroll down and leave a like. And if you want to check out some content that I made yesterday on my channel, where I went through and talked about getting levels in this game, click right here. I think you'll enjoy that video. You can get four levels pretty quickly in Madden Ultimate Team, and I'm out. Peace.